everyone. It's great to see you. Today I'm going to be going around the deck and just pulling out those annuals that are really past and replacing them with some really pretty looking asters and some ooh, mums. So I ended up getting the smaller quart size for each of these because remember the size that you buy your mums and asters is really the size that they're going to stay for the next month, six weeks. It's not like when you buy a proven winner's annual and whoo, you end up with super tunia bubblegum and it's huge. So these are the size that I need to sort of stick into some of my planters here and there and they'll fit perfect. I'm really noticing that it's mainly the superbina and the super tunias that are just, they're looking worse for wear. So I'm going to start by just going through and tidying things up. Okay, so you saw that I cleared out a number of things, and boy, as I pulled all those plants out, you didn't realize how big some of those had gotten. So I'm going to start by working in this rim gap here. I've actually pulled out the plant that's in the center, and I'm going to switch that up probably. So we'll get the rim planted first, and these are really root-bound. So if that happens, you can see there's roots coming out the bottom. I might have to get my pruners and actually cut these out. Okay, so if that happens, you can actually cut the plastic too, cut the roots, whatever it takes to get your plant out. Now, of course, this late in the season, we're really, really root bound in here too. We are gonna do the best we can to stuff these in, get some soil around them. They're not in here that long. So we just need to keep them going long enough to look beautiful for the fall. Now, you know, some people, of course, really would like their mums to come back year after year. And sometimes you see perennial mums in people's yards. If these are ones that you want to come back next year, then you should not be planting them in a planter. They would need to go into the ground right now. They would need the next four to six weeks to put down some serious roots so that they would be strong enough to overwinter in your garden. The danger is when people like me are putting these in a pot and they get through to Thanksgiving, and they're like, okay, the mums are done. We're going to stuff these in the ground and they'll come back beautifully next year. Well, they didn't get that four to six weeks to establish themselves in the ground. You're putting them in the ground then without that good root establishment. They're not going to make it through. Okay, that looks much better. Till I have what is actually going to go in here. I'm just going to which is rose in for now, lovely. And I pulled out the verbena. The verbena just really is past for me. I had a huge jazzberry over in this planter. In fact, there are so many old jazzberry roots in here. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to dig this in, but we'll give it a try. Okay. What I'm going for here is really just to be able to look out my window and feel cheerful seeing some pops of color. So these are not going to be, you know, the most artistic planters ever, but it is going to give me that pick-me-up of some nice spring blossoms, which I love to see. And once again, I'm kind of tipping these so that I can definitely see the flowers as I walk by. And that is okay. It might be cheating a little bit, but only a little bit. Okay. 
This is where I had the Supertunia Bordeaux, which is that beautiful purple color. And boy, that did so well. I loved that. It just has a gorgeous purple veining in those petunias. But you know, this gives that little pop of purple as I walk by here. And I think the purple really looks nice with a Rebecca. Oh, isn't that pretty? Just a little something different. Okay. Let's see. Just put one of these right over here. I think there's space, barely space in this planter. But once again, this is a planter that's really done blooming. So having a little something extra there is great. Okay. Let's see, where shall I put these? Hmm. There's really like hardly any space left in my planters. It's amazing. Okay, I think I can fit one over here. This is where I had that Truffola gonfrena, the pink plant that had drooped over so much in the rain. We have just had so much rain. In fact, digging in this potting mix, oh my gosh. Uh, it's really saturated see why maybe some of the plants didn't love that, but that's okay. Let's see if I can get these out. Ugh, there we go. Now as you're looking at me planting these, these have already broken color here, cracked color. They're starting to bloom probably more than I would have chosen if I had had a lot of selection. It is really hard to find the proven winners um, mums around. You know, most places just grow their own nursery mums and sell those, and that is absolutely fine. I like the size that these come in. To me, it's, it's worth it to get them in the size that's going to fit into your containers really well. So these were already a little bit more in bloom than I probably would have chosen, but that is okay. The most important thing in keeping your mums going like this, once you get them in the ground, is that you really do have to water them every single day. Most of the mums that you purchase have been hooked up on drip in the nursery, so they are used to that constant stream of water and that is how you keep their blossoms from turning brown quickly. So if you start missing a day, your mum blossoms are really going to turn brown and you won't have much luck. So, oh, this is just, this has super tunia bubblegum roots in here. Oh, um, so the important thing will be for me to get out here. I do not have any of these planters on drip. That would be lovely, but I don't. And in a way that's nice because it forces me to look at the planter, really see what's going on. Okay, even though I made a little bit of a mess, it's gonna be good. nice new bright pops of color with those gorgeous mums and asters. I feel like we got some of the cleanup done and you know last year my plants were going strong up here until November so I am hoping to see all these beautiful flowers and leafy plants just continue going on. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.